I don't know what's going to be sharper, the blade on this buck or what it's about to look like with this obsidian on it. Let's go do it. With this buck, uh, we got it from eBay. It's a rescue buck. Uh, and then this is mahogany sheen obsidian. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to pair these together and see how they look. I think the brass is probably going to look good with that mahogany sheen in there. It's not really going to show off right now because we got the Opticon on it to kind of make it a little less brittle for uh, use. But I'm telling you, when this thing's done, I have a good feeling it's going to be looking real pretty. So let's go ahead and get out there and start getting this cut up. We got our buck 110 here with our mahogany sheen obsidian scale. All right, so we're gonna put this on there with the epoxy 330. You know what that means? It's happy little bonding next to time. The little penguin that's a secret agent. Holding a mackerel in his hand. Instead of a mackerel. Come on, man. Look at that big old gap. I don't like that. We're going to cut it down. We'll make it work. We'll make it work right there. Keep it right there. We'll move. See, I don't want to cut too big into the bar back here because then it will uh, basically cut down all your leverage for whipping the knife out or the blade out. All right. So, now we got the scales on, we're gonna let those dry, and then we're gonna go cut them up. Uh, obsidian is actually one of the best stones I, I tend to cut. It's so easy to cut obsidian. Really, you don't really run across any leftover uh, scratches from it. I, I have no idea why. You know what I mean? Everybody can go, well, it's the stuff far from the football. I can't do that, okay? I can't tell you all that. I don't know all this knowledge. What I will tell you though, is that I like to cut this stuff and I like to make it pretty. So we're gonna get out there and cut it. This is probably one of the funnest stones to cut, but it can be quite um, hazardous because if a piece breaks off, I have been known to send some obsidian into my hand or fingers. And uh, Lori, you've seen that firsthand. You've seen me starting to bleed quite a bit because that thing will send right through. I've sent, I've sent a piece of, uh, grape agate right through my uh, pinky fingernail and into my nail into my finger and had to dig it out with the uh, tweezers didn't i so <laughs> once it stopped bleeding so where we can find it so yeah this one is quite uh i wouldn't say dangerous it's you know dang yeah it's, you can hurt yourself with it but uh it is one of the funner stones cut and whenever it's polished and looking good Hot baby tater. Does it look good? So, let's go ahead, let this thing dry, and then we'll get it cut. Well, I got you here before you leave. Make sure to like and subscribe, because guess what? When you like and subscribe, you help us out. When you help us out, we help you out, all right? We do giveaways and stuff like that. I don't know what we're giving away next. Put down in the comments what you'd like to see giveaway next. But we're gonna be working on pins and Whatever else you could suggest down there, let's see if we can make it. This channel is all about advertising some of my wife's stuff, her jewelry and stuff like that, but it's also about doing some experiments and let's have some fun with it, okay? With that, we're gonna leave you to get back to the video. So we're out here with the obsidian knife and it did break a little bit, but I think we can fix that up and get that fixed. But now we just gotta get it on the wheels and start cutting.
All right, so here we are out here with the mahogany sheen obsidian. And look at that. Look at that sheen underneath there. Beautiful obsidian. Really love it. Really love it on this knife. It is awesome looking. And uh, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I really am enjoying that sheen in there. Though. Golly, that's beautiful. But uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.